all right so guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can upgrade your final cut pro if you're using the trial version and if you want to upgrade it here's how you can do it so let me just show you that this is the final cut pro as you can see it says final cut pro trial and let me just show you which version i am on so about final cut pro as you can see i am on version 10.6.1 and apple just launched 10.6.2 but I cannot upgrade it as this is the trial version. So if you go into the app store and search for Final Cut Pro, as you can see, it is asking for the payment. And obviously I haven't downloaded it from the app store, so I cannot upgrade it from here. So what you need to do is go into the browser of your choice and which in my case is Google Chrome. I'll go into apple.com slash n slash Final Cut Pro. I'll leave a direct link to this page on in the description below. So you can go from there then you need to click on free trial click on download now and it will download the latest version of Final Cut Pro and it will totally depend on your internet speed how much time it takes so it is a 3.2 gigabytes file so it is a fairly huge file and it says one minute limiting because I have a 300 Mbps geofiber connection so I'll just wait for it to finish and then I'll show you how you can install it all right, so guys, the downloading has finished. I just click on it and it will open. I double click on it and click on continue. Continue. Click on agree. Click on install. And I need to enter my password for my Mac. Click on install software. This is validating package and it should be installed. All right, so guys, it says the installation was successful. I click on close, click on move to bin because I don't want to keep it. All right, so let me just see it. Click over about Final Cut Pro. It still says 10.6.1. So what I'll do is I'll click on cut. I'll just close Final Cut Pro. I'll click on it again and reopen it. And as you can see, uh, the Final Cut Pro trial has been actually reset uh, earlier it was showing me 37 days but as you can see it is showing me 90 days so that is also a plus point and uh, I'll just show you the version as you can see what's new in Final Cut Pro so this is the newer version it has got some new features which is duplicate clip detection voice isolation which is a really good feature I have seen videos about that and it is also optimized for the new Mac Studio with the M1 Max and the M1 Ultra. So it can take full advantage of those CPUs. I click on continue. And uh, I'll update it. All right. And as you can see, I go to about and here it is. It is version 10.6.2 as you can see. And the good thing is there is no loss of any of your data. So the, all the previous data that you had. It is still there, but just for safety reasons, I had backed all of them up. So you can do that too, but it is not a big deal. It is not going to go anywhere. Anyway, so guys, that's pretty much it for this quick video. I really hope you found it helpful. If you did, then make sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my subscription channel for more such videos. Also press the bell icon to get notified each time a new video from Cyber Scene goes live. Till next time, my name is Rishi and I'm signing out.